Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we'll look at how depth cam, video files, and live webcams can be used to generate metahuman animations and apply them to CC characters in Unreal. We'll also show you how to export metahuman animations to iClone and Character Creator. First, let's take a look at how we can leverage the depth camera to create metahuman animations. Before we start recording, remember to create a metahuman identity. If you are using the footage method to create the identity, you can reference the metahuman manual where every single function is explained in detail. Another option is to create a 3D mesh that represents the person in the video within Character Creator so that we can have better success with applying the animation. Next, use the export head function and have the target set to mesh to metahuman and texture size set to medium. Notice how the exported files include an FBX file and some textures. Back in Unreal, we'll import the FBX file. Once imported, right-click to create a metahuman identity, then select From Mesh from Create Components and select the Aaron head that was just imported. We'll need to enable Data-Driven Eyes and click on Promote Frame. Once named, click on Track Markers to locate the face. Now click on Metahuman Identity Solve to convert the character into a metahuman mesh. Click on Body and select a mesh that is compatible with Aaron. Click on Mesh to Metahuman and select Auto Rig Metahuman Identity Skeleton Mesh only to auto rig the character. You can then sign into your Epic account to see the newly created metahuman identity in the web browser. Next, let's create a metahuman capture source. Set the source type to Live Link Archives and choose the directory where your video is stored. Within the Tools menu, click on Capture Manager, then select the capture source you just created. You'll notice the video is now slotted in. Select the video, click Add to Queue, then click Import and the video will be converted into capture data. Create a new MetaHuman performance, select it, and change the input type to depth footage. Then set the capture data to the video you just imported, and preview the video. For the identity parameter, choose the Aaron mesh that was previously created and click Process. The process will run twice. The first is processing the image, the second is for processing the depth so that the animation can be accurately represented for the character. Once processing is complete, adjust the preview window for easier observation. Notice how the animation faithfully replicates the motion shown in the video. Finally, select a save path in the export animation window. For the mesh parameter, select the same Aaron mesh source. Open the animation sequence, and we can view the saved animation from depth camera. Next, let's see how to use a video file to create metahuman animations. First, make sure the auto setup and control rig plugins are properly installed. Once installed, you'll see the new plugin icon appear at the top. Click the import button and choose the FBX file exported from CC. Select high quality shader and ensure the morph target option is enabled. All other import settings can remain at their default values. Next, right-click on the skeleton mesh and select Create CC Control Rig from the context menu. The component will be created within the rig folder and will automatically separate the skeleton mesh into face and body sections according to Unreal's control rig specifications. Open Live Link Hub from the Tools menu, switch the working environment to Capture Manager, and change the source to Mono Video Ingest. Choose the folder directory for the Take directory. Once completed, the video will appear in the Take browser. Select the recorded video, click Add to Queue, then click Start. Once complete, a new folder will be created within Capture Manager. Open the file you just generated, and you'll see that Unreal has extracted capture data, video, and audio assets from the video file. Next, create a MetaHuman performance asset to begin recording. Set the input type to monocular footage, then select the capture data you just created. The video will now be input. 
choose CC5 HD face rig to apply the animation, and for the visualize mesh parameter, select Aaron face. Once set, the face control rig panel will appear. Click process to generate an animation from the video. Notice how the computed animation is baked onto the control rig and faithfully reproduces the original motion. Next, click export animation to save the entire sequence. Choose a directory, rename the file, select the mesh, and complete the export. Finally, double check the animation in the directory to see how closely it matches the source video. Now, let's see how we can use a live webcam to produce animation. Open Live Link Hub. We'll need to record the motion capture under the live data environment. Select MetaHuman Video as the source and set the video device to the webcam you'll be using. Click Connect to establish a live link. For motion image, select Input Video to view the recording perspective. Leave the other settings unchanged. Next, return to the viewport to display the character. Enable the Use MH Animator option and choose Webcam. This allows us to leverage live mocap so the CC character can perform in real time. In addition to live performances, we can also record the motion. Open Take Recorder from Windows Cinematic, and a new level sequence will be created. First, drag and drop the Aaron Rig blueprint into Recorder Source without changing the default settings. As before, enable Use MH Animator and select the Webcam option. Then, click the red button to start recording. When the recording is finished, click the gray button to end the webcam connection. A cinematic file will be created, containing both the level sequence and animation sequence. This lets us review the recorded results. We can also apply the animation to the character. First, click Add Actor Track to add Aaron Blueprint into the sequence. This character is set up with the CC control rig by default, but currently in UE. Using animation sequence together with control rig may lead to unexpected behavior. We'll need to remove the default control rigs for the face and body. Reapply the animation to have it transferable to the CC character. If the control rig is used to refine the facial animation, right-click on the face and select Bake to Control Rig. This will bake the motion onto the CC5 HD face rig and generate animation keys for the control rig track. Besides applying animations in Unreal Engine, we can also export the motion to iClone or Character Creator. If Auto Setup is properly installed, right-clicking on the animation sequence will display the option Export CC IC Facial Animation. Click on it, choose a directory, and save the file in CSV format. Next, return to Character Creator. Click the Import button, select Import Unreal Meta Human Facial Animation, and choose the CSV file. The animation will then be applied to the CC character. Of course, iClone also has an import function. If the animation includes an audio file, you can give both files the same name so they will automatically pair during import. As before, click Import MetaHuman Facial Animation and select Animation. Once the animation is imported, the audio will also be brought in simultaneously. I was born to be anything and everything. I cannot be contained by any one form or function. In addition, if the HD Face Control plugin is installed in Reillusion Hub, we can open the panel by clicking on HD Face Control in the plugin and adjust the size and position of the layout. With HD Face Control, we can quickly enhance or fine tune facial expressions for a more detailed and expressive result. In addition, the HD Face Control panel can be used in conjunction with the imported animation. That concludes this tutorial on using the depth camera, video files, and live webcam to generate metahuman animations. We also demonstrated how to export animations in CSV format for use in iClone and Character Creator. Thanks for watching.